Everybody get in crash position. And welcome back, Mech Warriors. This is Old Bob 10025 with kind of a look into the skill system. Now, don't get in your crash positions just yet. It's actually going to change. It's going to develop and actually grow in itself. So definitely don't don't flip out. This is going to just be like what they have in the placeholder. This is not going to be like uh, permanent. So hopefully it's not. Um, I like it. I like it. I like it. But I have some concerns over some of the aspects of what they're trying to do. But I'll get into that. I'm going to go play the video as well, and then I'll stop at certain different points, and they give a um, and they give some thoughts. And you give some thoughts as a community itself, too, in the comments down below. So definitely go ahead and do that, what your thoughts are, what you think it's going to be, what you would like it to be, and just give your thoughts down below, and we'll go from there pretty much. Here we go. Yeah, we kind of foresaw the pilot tree and the mech enhancements go away. So that's part of like what it is. And also, I mean, I didn't see why they actually didn't do a dedicated XP to GXP conversion screen. That makes perfect sense for what they're doing. Uh, that's just, I mean, that's just a no-brainer like pretty much. So let's go further on. But uh, who knows? It's going to change, like I said. You know, at this point, I, I did see them actually doing a conversion rate of 25 to 1 MC. That makes perfect sense for them to do that. What they might do, just like they do normally, is they have like um, kind of like events where they have like double X, you know, double XP to conversions. Then also, it's kind of nice you actually have your screen, so it's set up that you don't have to freaking find whatever it is that you're trying to find. It's all going to be one one type of screen, one type of a uh, um, screen to find every single mech that you have XP on. So that's a nice uh, that's a nice addition. And then also with the little button on the left hand side saying, "Hey, here it is. Here's the XP to GSP like conversion." Now GSP is used for multiple things for your mechs from what i understand it's going to be uh, um for everything so it's going to be for all your mechs if you want to use it for that for when you already master your mechs you can go ahead and do that as well but there is an issue i'll bring up later on about that so we'll get to that in just a little bit And we get to the elephant in the room. Quirks removed. Now I kind of like quirks. Uh, unfortunately, though, they didn't go to. They didn't do a good job of giving certain mechs better quirks to make mechs work out better. But um, and that actually created like the meta and then the bad mechs that they had. Um, but this is gonna. It's gonna be interesting. I'm not gonna give a you know hell no type thing, but I will give like oh my god, I'm concerned about this. For the simple reason is that. With the clans against the Inner Sphere, the balance wise, the Inner Sphere had more quirks to go ahead and balance out the mechs themselves. But the problem is, it, what's going to happen is since the clans have XL engines, which you can't XL check, better weapons, less tonnage, less space, um, better ranges, more heat a little bit to balance it out, which I kind of, I kind of understand, and the Omni mechs. So it turns out that since every mech's going to actually have all these different skill trees and, and quirks and everything, so let's say a. Um, um, a, a, a the cauldron barn is gonna and now gonna have quirks it doesn't need it but it's gonna have quirks anyways now so it's gonna be it's gonna be interesting because you can actually now with the clan mech you can have no excel check you can have better weapons better technology um better excel less tonnage less slots omni weapons so you can change your loadouts that you want to but yet you gotta have the skills for it don't get me wrong but the problem is though now it's like why would you actually want to pick an inner stream mech now i'm gonna get more in depth and detail of how they kind of fixed it, but I have some concerns just on that simple point right there. Quirks, remo quirks removed. It's just going to be, like I said, don't get in your crash, crash positions yet. It will be fixed, hopefully. I'm um, Hopefully, Rust and PGI will fix that thing, but we shall see in the long run. But that's a main concern of mine. I mean, we kind of saw this coming with the modules, with the mechs not actually having those, except for the last one, which would be the Marauder 2C. Last one actually have some modules, but we kind of saw this coming. So it's a good point. I kind of like it. Um, I'm going to explain a little bit later on about where they're going pretty much, 
but modules are no more. You will be reimbursed for what you paid for the modules. So if you paid for 6 million C-bills for Radar Derp, you will get 6 million C-bills back. Now it's kind of nice if people have a lot of modules, but it's kind of you know it's kind of bad if people don't because then you're gonna have to go and grind like crazy just for C bills. So that's one aspect um, I didn't mind too much as far as the modules. I kind of saw this coming like anyways, but um, it's kind of nice though. Now are your mechs you can have modules on your mechs themselves instead of actually trying to search for 130 mechs trying to find that one radar derp. Now it's gonna be on the individual mech, so you actually grind for the modules themselves. You don't actually have to find them, take them off, put them back on another mech. Now each mech's gonna have their own individual type of stuff. So let's say the uh, um, let's say the Pirate's Bane. Now that will actually have uh, probably an ECM module, so it'll be ECM skills. That's kinda like how it's gonna work. Um, or let's say, and then the other ones will have a little slot or a little node that you could actually go ahead and uh, put into the module slot whatever module you want to go ahead and have. So it'll be any of the types of modules, like say a radar derp or seismic sensor or whatever you want to go put inside there. And that's basically how that's going to work from what we understand. And right now I feel like a giddy little schoolgirl because this is going to be so great. The one aspect I love about the new, uh, about the new skill system is that you're able to customize your mech to whatever you want it to be. You want it to be faster? You want it to take more damage? You want it to be a tank? You want it to be a super brawler? You want it to be um, a super LRM guy? You want it to be a, a laser vomit mech? You put all your stuff into lasers. You put all your stuff into certain different things. You can do so much with this mech now. That's it's unbelievable. And this is one aspect I love about what they did for skill tree and thank god they did this they needed this change so bad for them to actually have it so you could customize each and every mech now the the unfortunate process is that it's going to cost you a shit load of money or c pills and xp to go ahead and i think it's like seven hundred fifty thousand. i think like 3.6 million for what i understand to go ahead and master your mech now it uh, might not um it might seem like a lot but i hope they actually raise up the numbers towards the end as far as uh, um as far as uh, how much xp you get per match and how many c bills you get per match because that was just going to take a long time because i know for me it takes i don't know I, you know if i'm if i'm like really just nonchalant probably about uh, two or three days to master a group of three max so it's not too too bad but it's just it's going to be a grind and that's basically what they did so so that's one aspect i love what they did you could customize your mechs to any way you want to uh higher flying mech uh, you know be like a viper you could you could uh, um jump around and go faster you could do a whole bunch of different cool things that's one thing i definitely like about what they're going to do so let's go more in in detail on some other aspects okay so at this point we got firepower survivability Mobility, operations, and infotech. Obviously, firepower is going to be the skills that you put into ballistics, um, lasers, and then also um, missiles. Um, so survivability is probably going to be armor. What type of um, how much armor you can take, or, or you know, skeletal structures and that kind of stuff. Mobility is obviously going to be how fast you go. That's probably going to be a locust. And operations. I'm not sure what operations will, would be, but infotech obviously is going to be like um, you know, ECM, that kind of stuff, or um, maybe radar derp. I'm not too sure. They might they might group the modules into whatever different categories it should be in. So like a range module will be in, in for firepower, survivability probably be like an armor module or what have you. I don't know. But that's generally like what they have. Now they have something called each mech is going to have skill points and then skill points are used to be placed into different types of mechs now each mech is going to be completely different as far as what you can put onto the mech itself so let's say a locust probably going to have more module slots i i this is just speculation so uh, hopefully they do it this way but a, a locust will have more module slots but obviously won't have more firepower slots because it really doesn't have much into it uh but a uh, but i have a lot of infotech maybe operations i'm sure about operations but definitely mobility and infotech now an atlas probably gonna have survivability and firepower and maybe i don't know operations i think but but who knows that's just a speculation like on on how they're going to do it now skill points are based on the mech itself so from what, from what we can understand there's 75 skill points maximum you put inside of a mech now i i know the show um skill points zero to 195 in, in this little clip there so it's a little bit um daunting per se as far as uh, what's going to be in there but if you can only spend 75 points but like i said this is a placeholder so we're not sure how that works 
But um, for, what, for what I understand, it's basically going to be skill points for the mech itself, maximum 75. Some will have less, some will have more. It just might be that way, how they balance out the differences, say, for Intersphere compared to Clans. But you know, just, like I said, speculation, and hopefully they're going to do a good job on this. So at this point, each tree is, or, or each um, skill tree, is, like say AC cooldowns, will have that, or for ballistic weapons the, and that kind of stuff. So it's going to go on, on to, each one's going to have plus 2.5%, which is not too bad. They might make it so the industry might have 5%. That's what's been speculating on the boards to balance out different things, but who knows. But each one's going to have a, a kind of like a progression of what skills you could specialize in that tree itself. Now, for what we understand, the um, or what it is, what we kind of like understand is the skills are skill points. So, so it's ten thousand XP per one skill point. So, so it'll be seven hundred fifty thousand um, XP to maximize a mech. Now, mechs might already have skill points already put built into it. We're not sure yet. Russ has to get to us on that. But that that's kind of speculation. What's going on? And it's going to cost an S load of money to go special to go do your mechs themselves. So. Don't freak out. It's just a placeholder for what they want to go and have. And I like the concept. The concept's beautiful. But unfortunately, what's going to happen is I'm going to have, well, like say, locusts. I have, I think I have all, all, all locusts. So what am I going to do with the, if I have like three different builds I like, now I've got to get rid of the rest of them. I just purchased 30 mech, bay, mech bays during the sale. So now I have an S ton of mech bays. I don't know what to do with and I don't want to sit there and grind out you know I have a hundred uh, I have 130 mechs now I don't want to grind out like all these different mechs so about 80 of these mechs will be on the back burner so I don't know what I can do with it I don't know what to do uh, pfft, I don't know you know basically the rest of them I'm gonna have to grind like crazy to get them mastered out and it's gonna take a long time to get them mastered out as well so it just all depends Now here's the elephant in the room as well too. Now to respect your points, uh, respect to me is just kind of like uh, dump your points and use it for something else. Russ did say it will cost C bills and if you want to keep the nodes, uh, it will cost actually MC. And so from what we understand from what everyone's talked about on the forums is that when you do that, if you just use C bills, you're going to lose XP for that mech itself. But if you want to keep the nodes, the XP will be saved for those nodes. So in essence, if you want to change out your mech, you uh, you either spend MC to save all the XP that you have for it, or you go ahead and just use C bills, um, a S ton of C bills to go ahead and uh, and respect it in itself, redo the mech itself. That's why people will have multiple different types. I plan to have a laser vomit, a ballistic vomit, and then a uh, um, maybe an LRM bow for some like the Hunchback 4J because I really love that mech. But it just all depends what what I see, you know, based on what comes out. So. In essence, uh, I mean, you know, I understand why they have that. Uh, if you if you can use like MC, they got to have some business model to go and make money. It makes sense. Don't get me wrong. Um, you know, that's what economics is to make money on a free to play game. They got to make it some way, and this is the way they're gonna do it. It sucks, but that's how they're gonna do it. <laughs> that's what pretty much he was saying. So, in order to respect your points on your mech, you need to go ahead and spend C bills. If you don't, if you just spend C bills, you can lose XP. If you use MC to keep your nodes, you will be saving your XP. So be a longer grind if you have your master mech and then dump it and then want to do something else for it, you will be able to go, uh, you will have to go do that. So I see the point about it, but it kind of sucks. That's, but I see the business aspect of it as well. This I think is actually going to be a great feature because they're going to add a few extra skill trees like like vectoring to actually go forward with your thrust instead of actually just going up. So that's kind of cool. It's going to have different aspects of what you want to do for your mech. So that's the greatest customization that we have now for the skill tree, which is gorgeous. I love that. But I have I have some concerns about different other things. But that's one of the things I think is awesome. They're going to have new different skills you can have for your mech itself. That's beautiful. So this is only one of them. They'll have more. So we'll find out more probably next week or the or probably next month or the you know like around February at that time. But that's a gorgeous aspect of what they're gonna do for the mechs themselves, for the skill trees, and for everything else. 
uh, you're able to customize your stuff. The only problem is, you know, the balance is what I'm really concerned about. I'm really, really concerned about the balance. Um, because, uh, you know, if they don't have that, I might as well just go play Omnimex and just go with that because I could change out like anything I want to. If I have MC and everything else, I could do whatever I want. So who knows? But <laughs> it's going to be interesting to go see. Like I said, don't get in your crash your crash positions yet. It's just a placeholder for them to say, hey, look what we're doing for next year. So just, just you know, calm down. You know, don't panic. Get your towel ready. Get a tracker's guide from Galaxy. But <laughs> well, it's it's gonna it's gonna be interesting to find out what they're gonna do. So that's kind of cool. Obviously, this is going to be a great feature because you can find out how many skill points you'll be using, how many um, MC and uh, how many uh, C bills you'll be using as well, and what you actually did to your milk itself. So it's going to show on the right hand side, you know, um, like industry AC range and everything else. Now it's kind of interesting they sh they show a Hellbringer with a interior AC range. So I don't know if they're going to make mech for all mechs uh, to figure out the balance so everyone can actually have all different types of stuff and then jump the timeline probably to thirty sixty two. Because uh, that's, uh, I think, 3060 is when the Marauder 2C came out, but I'm not too sure. But um, in order to do that, because you see a Hellbringer using inter Intersphere AC range. So ISI AC range. So that's going to be interesting to see what they're going to do. I don't know. That's speculation, too, I've been reading. Is uh, put, everyone's going to have everything. So uh, so the Intersphere will have their mechs, and then the Clans will have their mechs. But it, it, brings, it brings away the nostalgia of what the game is and and uh, um you know clans and this if we're all going to be like the same technology might as well just go play whatever the best the best thing is the you know the meta for the balance but this should be interesting to go check out to see what they're going to do for it so hopefully it's going to be real really good <laughs> i don't know this is good like in itself because i know the inner sphere have the um have the hard points and they're certain sets so say like hunchback 4j only it's missiles so basically it might have a uh, more of a missile tree than um say a um, gridiron that only has like ballistic tree for the Gauss rifle. So basically it just all depends what they're going to do. We don't know yet. And so, you know, like I said, don't get in your crash positions just yet, but every mech's going to have their own special skill tree uh, with, um, with specialties and everything else. So you'll be able to go and specialize in whatever you want to have for that mech. Like I'll probably do the 4J with a bunch of different missiles, who knows, or you could do like a, um, say a, I don't know, let's say a um, rifleman with just ballistics. And so basically everyone's going to have the different type of tree that they're going to have. So it's going to be interesting to find out what they're going to do. I can't wait. I can't wait. I thank God they did this. I mean, yes, it's five years in the making, four or five years. Oh, boy. <laughs> it hasn't been a crazy five years. But it's going to be nice when they actually go and redo this dumb system they had before to this one other one where you get to do your max. The main concern, one of the other concerns I do have is that they're going to actually have where uh, meta builds. I mean, everyone's going to just go, boom, that's the mech to have. And, you know, say like a Kodiak 3, just Ultra AC 5s with all this Ultra AC stuff, and that's what it's going to have. So you you will see that a lot. And plus all the vets, uh, from, from what I've been reading on the boards too, is all the vets will have billions of C builds, billions of XP to go and master out like, 20 max or like 10 max done just absolutely off the off the wall basically right there and then all the people who actually are are doing this stuff or have their mechs already mastered out against a person who comes out with i just bought a old a, a urban mech and i'm gonna have fun with it you know th those have people when they start coming in the new players they're gonna get smashed by people who actually already meted their mechs and they're just just demons and monsters on the battlefield. So that's one concern I do have about the new players coming in, into the base of the game itself. So they don't get frustrated. So we as a community have to actually help out those people. Help out the new players, man. You know, say, hey, this is a better way to do your mech or this is how this, talk to them. Because this is what the community is. We're a great group of people that actually do that kind of stuff. We're not monsters, man. We're not monsters like World of Tanks. <laughs> we're, we're good people. But <laughs> anyways... I thank you for actually watching my channel. Thank you, my friends. I know you can watch other YouTubers, and thank you for watching mine. This, like I said, don't get in your crash positions just yet. It's going to be something that's in development. They showed us, like, hey, check this out type thing. So we'll, we'll check it out over the next couple of months. And, of course, I'll probably make another video. Next week is Faction Warpath video and Marauder 2C live video. Maybe the gameplay of Escort. I think it's coming out. So we'll be doing that next week. Oh God, I got a busy week next week. Holy crap, it's gonna be crazy. <laughs> I'm gonna be getting a new computer um, Saturday, 
So hopefully it's going to be, uh, um, I'll, I'll might not make any videos this weekend because I have to do all specs and all that kind of stuff and download massive amounts of patches. So who knows? But I do appreciate you guys watching. Remember, you are what makes this game great. And I will see you on the battlefield.